Hey everybody, welcome back to BTMP Reviews. I'm P. First, I would like to just say thank you to everyone who's viewed, liked, subscribed, and commented on this channel. I greatly appreciate it. It makes me feel good. Today I'm going to be talking about this shotgun that actually belongs to BT and he's letting me use it for this video. So thanks babe. I love you. You're the greatest. And I mean it with you. Okay. All right. So this is the Duke Ultra. It's a 12 gauge shotgun by Emperor. Okay. It has an overall length of 33 inches and a barrel length of 18.5 inches. Okay. So this is a pump action shotgun. It has a capacity of four plus one and it takes two and three quarter inch shells. It has a pistol grip or a hand grip and it is very, very comfortable. It has an accessory rail and you can see the rear sight, which is adjustable. The front sight is red, so I think that's cute. And it has a faux brake. So as you can see, there are no holes in the barrel. It's really just here for aesthetics. And I actually think it does add a cool look to the gun. I think it looks pretty nice. Okay. Um, you also have this accessory rail here at the top. Now, in order to move the action, you need to press this action bar lock. So you push it in and you're able to move the action. And you can see that there are no shells in this firearm. Okay. You have the cross bolt safety. So as you can see, you don't see a red line. It is safe. And if you push it in, see the red, it's ready to fire. Okay, so we'll put it back on safety. Now, the issue that I have with this shotgun is the action. It is not smooth. It jammed on us quite a few times while we were at the range. And I'm gonna upload the range footage so you all can see what I mean. Um, just in the event that I needed this weapon, I would not be very confident in it. And that's something that you want when you have a home protection firearm. Okay. Um, I am happy when I was able to shoot it, what I was able to do with it. I will say that this is my first shotgun that I've ever held or shot. So the first thing I did when I held it was hold it like this, right? Well, this is the only time I've seen it was in a movie. So this is what I saw in the movies, right? Just put it here and, you know, you walk around like, where's the target? You know? Not accurate, people. Don't hold the shotgun like that. It's not going to get you any good results. You can't really aim when it's down here. Okay? Well, I'm not able to, and this was my first time. So I went and I looked at other videos of people who've been handling firearms for much longer than I have and I figured out the right way to hold the gun and you're gonna see that in the video and I did an awesome job I really did it was fun because you know I like hitting targets so I'm having fun as long as I'm hitting the target um so when it shoots it does what it's supposed to do but the action is just sticky so I'm not a fan okay I'll tell you what else I'm not a fan of when I think to do videos of guns, the first thing I want to do is go to the owner's manual so that, you know, I can get the information I need for the video. Well, this owner's manual is more like a leaflet. Okay? Leaves a lot to be desired. Didn't have all the information that I wanted to get about this model. So, I went to the website. There was no information on the models of the guns, okay? It had a picture with an overview that said pump action shotguns, and you click on it and nothing populates. I thought it was like it just wasn't mobile friendly, so I went to the laptop, same thing. So I think that it would be great for Emperor Arms to update their website, maybe make it mobile friendly, but also, Put the information out there about your actual models of the guns that you send out because your owner's manual does not do that. And people like me like to know <laughs> about the actual model that I have, right? Um, 
So being that Emperor Arms has been around since 1962, I would think that now would be the time for you to, you know, go ahead and put some of that energy into, you know, your website. Getting information out to your consumers, okay? And while you're thinking about getting things out to your consumers, let's also think about the packaging, right? So this is the box that it came in. Quite flimsy. Um, definitely not what I'm used to with I, any of the other guns that we purchased, like there's much more um, padding in the boxes to keep the guns safe and transport. Um, so yeah, not very happy. They did provide an extra stock if you don't want to have the pistol grip, but we haven't tried that out yet, so we'll just leave that there. So I guess that that's, you know, a nice touch. Um, Overall, the gun is decent. Right now, it's retailing for about $411. Not very expensive, but when you're dealing with a shotgun or any firearm, you want it to work. So, I would not recommend this shotgun. As I said, I'm looking forward to trying out other shotguns to see if it's me <laughs> or if it's this model from this company. So, we'll see. If you have any experience with shotguns or this actual shotgun it's the duke ultra by um emperor arms please please let me know below watch the range footage and see what i was able to do with it and look at the issue that we had let me know if you think that that's a problem that i have or you know it's the firearm which i think is the firearm so i'm sure y'all agree with me anyway Thank you so much for watching. Please do not hesitate to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, be safe. Bye-bye.